up? This is Chemistry. I am Miles. Over there is Marcel Williams. What do, what, you taking a sip? I was about to, but yeah, you... go ahead, man. What's wrong? Don't be shy. We'll All wait. All right. You don't have to. We can just kind of keep it rolling. I'm gonna just get your water. Hurt. No. <laughs> Well, the apple cider. All vinegar. right. <laughs> he got his soup. I got it. Our special guest for today is Nina. No, I'm not even going to hold it. That felt, felt good to me. Nina Stacks. Man, Nina, how are you doing? Man, I'm doing good. Thanks for having me, man. Absolutely. You know, we talk about you all the time. Really? Yeah. yeah. You talk I'm so much shit. I'm not going to hold it. Your name gets brought up around here a lot. I wouldn't say we. No, 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 no. Let's clarify. Uh, just bring it on. Because I don't know where that came from. Uh, <laughs> the we. Uh, <laughs> no, you are such an inspiration. Oh, you man, are I such an inspiration, that. man. You're the two we go out of here. Two be goat. To be Come on. Too. When you talk about two be, you got to put a name in the same sentence. Yeah, Nina Stacks is out. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about how did you get into filmmaking? What was your first step into this journey? That is a loaded question. Okay, um, let's make it a little. Uh, I'm gonna shorten it up. All right, um, okay. but <laughs> the short version, um, as far as just videography, um, I was a broadcast major in college, but I was a radio major. But when you do broadcast, you learn camera, you learn. For sure. For Media sure. in general. So um, I actually got a job at a radio station and started to moonlight at a TV station. And that's where I learned the ins and outs of production, you know, lighting, camera mm-hmm. work, things like that. Um, and I lost both of those jobs the same year. Okay. Yeah. So oh, uh, fired or you quit? I was late. This was 09. So economy crashed. Oh, it was a bad my idea. jobs went with the, the radio job was just hating, but the TV job was yeah, the economy. But um, I had this flip cam, and since I was a radio DJ, I flip knew cam. all the rappers. I feel you. What's okay. the flip cam? Okay, so the flip cam. This was an old camera. It looked like literally like a phone. It was like this. Mm. It just had a little. Camera. I don't know if y'all remember. It was a long time. Remember. It was about 2010, maybe 2010. Right Sometimes it had a little flip out screen. Sometimes it didn't. It wasn't that long. But um, okay. Yeah. About 15 years almost. I mean, that's not that long, though. 15 years is years. A 15 year old is yeah. it's pretty old. I don't know. It's, it's not that long. It's almost ago. a grown man. Anyway, <laughs> not think about it. Like Most of us remember flip cams. <laughs> Remember when you couldn't remember 15 years? But um, <laughs> so I get this flip cam. I start shooting these $50 music videos. 50 Fifty dollars. Yes. What do you mean? I'm yes. on, uh, what should her rate have I'm been? On, I'm on 50. Windows Media Player. Editing. Come on now. Hey, you and still got never... those? No. Oh. Wow. Why not? Hey. <laughs> do I still do I have what? Like, do, you, do you still have them? Like the, the those? Video? Yeah. The YouTube has it. Okay. I don't They're have still them. Out uh, there. I can look at my history on YouTube. Hey, There's there you go. Were they good? What? No, but I mean, at the time they were good Effie. because we didn't have much time. to compare them to. Yeah, it was yeah, definitely yeah. a different time. This is this. So is... when you made them, did you think they were good? I thought they were good for me not knowing what the hell I was doing. Okay. I know I never shot a music video. I was just like, I know these rappers. Effie. YouTube is a thing right now. Let me. Mm-hmm. I just had to pay my rent. So. Were you doing a bunch of them? Oh yeah, for I fifty go. bucks. And mind you, this is this is the struggle. So. I didn't even have a car at this time. My car broke down right at the time I got laid off. Dang. So I live, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Bad so time. in Memphis, uh, there's a streetcar. I happen to just live in the Midtown area right near the streetcar. I would hop on the streetcar and go downtown, 8, 9 a.m. in the morning, and get online, get on Twitter and Facebook and say, hey, I'm downtown shooting videos, $50, you got till 8 o'clock. And niggas pull up all day, all day. I'm shooting. I'll shoot 10 videos in a day. 
And you'd edit Take them all home. 10 edit videos. I mean, however, that's $500. I'm like, it what is. You know what that's saying? a lot of videos. That at is $50 a lot $50 of pop. videos. Maybe two or three months after that, I was able to go up to 100 After that, 150 Then I got a 70 for my amazing friend, Isaiah Conyers. I am iconic on Instagram. He's an amazing director. Hey, um, that's him. Who? That's his name. I, Isaiah. Oh, oh, Isaiah Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. your homie. Yeah, yeah. That is your homie. <laughs> your name does get brought up a lot. Oh. All right. Wow. <laughs> that is your wow. homie. Yeah, we're both from Memphis. We, we, yes, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, would, he would talk about you a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't he remind you of Polaris? A little bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he, he, he loaned does. me his 70s. And that was my step he's up. A nice from guy. The, he's an amazing guy. He's an amazing person. Um, and that was my step up into the HD realm. And um, it was really just a takeoff after that. So just doing, so right now you're just doing music videos. And that's all I ever done before. And you know, I do events or something, you know, people at the clubs, and video, yeah, little yeah. vlogs. I just making up stuff. I don't gotcha, know. We didn't gotcha. have any mics. We didn't so have when mics. did you start getting to doing films? Like what made you start? So film didn't come until actually I moved to Atlanta, which was in 2014. Why'd you do that? Um, because uh, Memphis is an amazing town, but there's a ceiling. Uh, for things in the media realm. Okay. There's not a filmmaking community there, really, or anything. So uh-huh. if you want to kind of expand, I'm like, oh, I'll just go to Atlanta. I was doing a lot of work here anyway. No point in traveling back and forth. How far is it? Like six hours of oh, okay. drive. Yeah, so, like you know, don't get me wrong. Nothing. When I first moved here, I was going back to Memphis shooting videos. Because it's the thing about when you move out of your town, all of a sudden you become more of Mm-hmm. In demand and wherever you live, yeah. Because like, whoa, well, she's not here anymore. Yeah, like, oh, she's in Atlanta. She must be more famous. Let's shooting it now. I'm like, I've been there ten years. Y'all didn't do nothing. But okay, so mm-hmm. I get here, shooting a lot of videos. I'm shooting some stuff. I get on set with some big names pretty quickly. Um, and here, movies are a thing. So every person I work with is like, oh, this video looked like a movie. You ever shot a movie? Like everybody kept saying this shit over and over and over. Mm -hmm. So we get to about 2018. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do a movie. Damn, four years later. Four years later, because I didn't know nothing about movies. I had to go to YouTube University. I never shot nothing mm. more than a music video. Word to your so mind. I went to YouTube University. I met a whole bunch of people. I got on set with all these people. I learned about lights. I learned about lenses. I, I did all that. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to do a movie. And it was just a silent movie. It had one line. I got this model friend of mine to get in there. What? We did this cool little black James Bond vibe. And um, he ended up getting casted on a reality show right afterwards. So we got like 200,000 views immediately. (laughs) And I was like, what? (laughs) So I just kept doing it. I did another one. I just kept doing shorts. I did like three or four shorts in a row. They all did pretty well. Like silent? No, no, no. I I put scripts into the next one. Like you, you were writing them? Yeah, yeah. I never, I don't. Nobody else was giving them to me, so I'm like, I just write my own shit. <laughs> so 2019 <laughs> rolls around. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something for the top of the year. Let me drop something. So I did this little eight minute film called New Year New Us. I was mm. like, let me get a hashtag vibe, something people will look up on YouTube. It got a million views out of nowhere. We had no idea. So it was out of nowhere. I, we didn't have no promo. I don't know nothing. So, uh, well, <laughs> the first one, the, the first one, it was just an episode at first eight minutes and it just went crazy on Facebook and everywhere. So we were like, okay. What so do you it, think made it go crazy? We're, we're trying to. The authenticity <laughs> of it. The authenticity. I think it's so, real. This, this is the things that everyone's telling me. This is what the yeah. YouTube comments are saying. Even the, the kid from Soul Food, the little kid that was in all the movies. Yeah. He's like my friend on mm-hmm. Facebook. He inboxed me. I didn't realize we were friends. I was like, you're the dude. He was like, yeah, I just want you to know. <laughs> I just watched you your new us. Man, that's some Atlanta shit. <laughs> He was like, it's very real. Keep writing. Okay. <laughs> and I'd never written any. That's my first long that form thing wild. ever. The first episode went crazy. The actor's like, maybe we should do another one. I'm like, okay. Oh, so it wasn't and even then it turned into to... like a nine episode thing. Mm-hmm. And by the time we were at episode nine, we had like 600,000 views or something. Good. On each episode? Or no, no, no. Like total. The total. In total. Okay, okay. And then I was like, okay, well, I'll do something with this. Let me see what this Tubi thing's about. But on Tubi. What made you think about Tubi? Because I wasn't making any money on 
face on YouTube. Mm. So I'm like, it's got to be you a not, way. No, because I use a lot of music. Oh, oh and oh, so yeah. they're making money. Yeah, they, I'm not making a damn dime. They took all of that shit. Yeah, I made like a hundred dollars. So <laughs> mm. I was like, hmm, it got to be another way for something. <laughs> so I found Maverick online. I was just researching all day, just looking at independent distribution. What made you go with Maverick? I've been watching Maverick movies since Blockbuster. Oh. I, that Purple Horse was one of the mm. only things I remember from the Blockbuster <coughs> era of black that movies. That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rainforest Films, Maverick, and, uh, there's, and, and Lionsgate were the only people that used to put out black movies. And they put out movies that I've seen my whole life. So I was like, oh, oh let's see what these guys are talking about. And um, they were like, oh, yeah, we think this will do great. And I was like, well, let's do it. I don't know. They paid me money. I haven't been paid money before. I'm like, I don't know. They paid me some money. I didn't pay shit to make the movie. I was just doing it. <laughs> like, like, sometimes I was a sound man. I was everything. Like, I was just doing some shit. Hey, so, hold on. I just got to pause it. Cause, <laughs> so, <laughs> what? never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. No. Hey, hey, ain't nothing been planned up to this point. You just. <laughs> it, but, 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 this is the thing. You're just though. doing things. But I'm a hustler, though. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm getting at. And this just is doing the thing. It. The talent is one thing. You got to have some hustle. So gotcha. I'm like, I'm going to just go. Goodness. And I do a lot of research before I do anything. I feel you. I feel you. So even when I was thinking about the idea of making it a movie, I'm like, I don't see movies like this. I've never. I have not seen a movie with two dark-skinned black people being romantic since the '80s, probably. Yeah, so I yeah. was like, "This is a thing. It doesn't exist. I'm gonna put it out." So it gets on Tubi and goes freaking crazy. Yes, it did. It's been number one. It was number one on Tubi for almost a year. Yes, it was. Outrageous! I made more money than I've ever made in my entire adult Goodness life gracious. in a quarter. I, so I um it was crazy but <laughs> <laughs> but that was a phenomenon though it doesn't always happen like that fucking hero to this guy over here man like what you are saying you are him no idea how much no, it, you are it, fucking this guy's hero with this story man no 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 no, no, no this sir. wasn't planned though I, mean, I can honestly say there. that I'm not and I feel sometimes I be feeling bad because I talk to people they be like I've been a filmmaker since my childhood and I'm like but this is what I have always been I've always been I've always been a film buff though I feel you. and I've always been a storyteller mm -hmm. I just didn't know I was gonna make movies mm. I've always been a writer at all of those things so when I didn't get scripts I liked I just started making my own so okay. people sent you scripts like, I mean, people were like, I want to shoot this. None of them were ever serious, you know, and there's some, oh, I've done yeah, a lot yeah, of like, film yeah. festival stuff where I've shot things for other people and stuff, but <laughs> it ain't never my vibe. Like, That's film pretty. festival stuff be real, like, hotel, and I'm just not, you so know, I'm kind of ratchet. Let's up. break <laughs> for Marcel's purpose. Let's break down. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I appreciate it, Marcel. Yeah, I was like, I appreciate you. It's a new year, new us. Okay, let's dive. Let's take it, because number two is about to drop on December 1st. Go ahead. What? We got a sequel, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay. So. Who knew? We'll, we'll, we'll get to it later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. When, when New Year Knew Us dropped on Tubi, when, how did you know it started doing good? Like, when did you see it start to do good? Um, mm, it took a while. It took. So it wasn't instant. Maybe a month. Oh, okay. Before we started to see people like talking about it on the internet, and then how how do you see people talking about it? I mean, literally, people would like look up the Instagram page, they would tag you or stuff tag or... it, yeah. And sometimes I just search the words and it pops up. Gotcha. Um, but what really happens is they go find the actors mm -hmm. and they get in the actors' inbox, mm -hmm. and like the lead guy, they were going crazy in his inbox, like they were <laughs> losing it. They're like, Oh my god, you're such a good man, I can't believe she did. I'm like, It's fake, oh, okay. It's fake. Mm -hmm. But and then the check came, I was like, What? So, How long it take for the check to come? Eh, it takes a minute. Well, eight months, maybe. Eight, nine months. Eight, nine months? God dang. It did, but trust me, Long it time. was worth it. Oh, yeah. I heard it, it was. It was eight, nine years worth of money. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. For what I was used to, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. So, when you, 
when you got the check, when you saw how much you were supposed to get, how what's the giggles about, I'll, guys? What's going I'll, on? <laughs> just, so much a, chuckling over here. <laughs> I'm in it, man. So when you got the check, what what's the first thing that went through your mind? Like, what were you were you shocked? Yeah. Now I was okay, so I was shocked, but I talked to a couple of my other homeboys that had some movies out, and shout out to Mr. Boomtown from Houston. OG, triple OG. Um, okay. But he had called me and was like, Yeah, this is what you should be expecting. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, This nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> and then the check in, I was like, What? <laughs> that shit Maverick never crazy. told you? I mean, they didn't know, you know, until they do. The money well, money. But I mean, they, they like, We really think this is going to do well. Like, that's what they said from the beginning. Well, I mean, like, there was no heads up. Like you just woke up to. Oh no no no! Well, you get like a statement that says it's coming, mm-hmm. and it tells oh, you how gotcha, much gotcha, it's coming. Gotcha, so gotcha. when I saw the statement, I'm like, oh, "Shit!" <laughs> I'm like, "How many times? How long is this?" Now, but yeah, I was shocked. That's what's I was up. Definitely shocked. What was That's the budget? The biggest money I've ever made at one time in my life. How much? Uh, how much did you put into making a movie? Maybe twenty five hundred bucks over seven months. Period, maybe. We did nine episodes. Once we shot every mm, two or three mm. weeks or something per episode or something. So, yeah, it wasn't even. It might have been $4,000 or something I feel, I feel. over those months. Yeah. That included craft? Like I was eating on them sets? I ain't even trying to be funny, but I just. No, I mean, I, I feed my like, people. I feed my people. Okay. That's, that's all crazy. I was paying for, though. I wasn't paying them. <laughs> I wasn't paying locations. It couldn't have been. That's crazy. All that stuff was probably used my house, my homeboy's house, f- hey, <laughs> my homeboy's sister's house. It didn't feel like Come on. <laughs> Fucking talking to his hero over here. Indy to a T. I love I'm it, though, about, man. Yeah, we, my house has been in every single one of my movies. So, what do you do with <laughs> it when you got it? Um, mm. Well, I paid the cast. That was very nice. That was a you. big chunk of it. Was yeah, that a thing? Not his hero anymore. Hey, he ain't losing me now. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> did they sign they something? They, 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 no, they didn't. I did. I get. I gave it to them on the strength of them sticking in there with me for seven yes. months straight for yes. free. They as, worked more as than you enough. You should, as, as a good you person, should per contract. She did it per the contract. You should. You know. Yeah. Well, we didn't know. Like neither none of us knew at first. We were just like, this will be fun. Like that's all it was. But yeah, I, I pay, definitely I pay. paid. That's good. That, that really is good for it. Oh, good little amount. my goodness! And I shot four more movies with the rest. <laughs> that's what I did. I invested the rest right back into the I game because I'm like, if I'm getting this check, I need some more. How many movies can I make and be getting residuals on? That's what I'm yeah. trying to do. I'm trying yeah, to, I get that. I'm surprised I'm that you're just coming out with a sequel though. It's been done for a year, but legal issues and oh. niggas thinking they're famous now is a thing. Okay, but, then. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to the nitty gritty. It's coming out. It's okay. coming out. It's beautiful. It's a step up. Okay. okay. How how could that stop a movie from coming out? Somebody thinking they're famous? It does. They won't be difficult and shit. <laughs> <laughs> how? How will they be difficult? I can't talk about it either. Okay. Damn. But niggas got sued. Hey, it was that deep. Yeah, uh, okay. Would have never thought. Man, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm the workings of Tubi. All right. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tubi making a lot of money. So were you <laughs> never. <laughs> yes, the fuck they are. So were you never, I guess, worried? If you your plan was to invest all of the money back into doing other films, were you. Because it seemed you caught fire on your first one. So were you not. Did you think you were going to catch fire on every single one? No, I no, I, I I definitely believe that New Year New Us was a phenomenon. I don't, I didn't assume okay, okay. that everything would work. I'm like, this is okay, this is impossible. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like, <laughs> come on now, or else everybody be rich. Like, what are we doing? Uh, like, why is everybody feel, not rich now? Feel, yeah. <laughs> Y'all got 37 movies on Tubi and don't have no money. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so that can't be normal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be like. Mm. So I was like, no. And then my second movie, I was already in pre production on. So I was just finishing it up. And like my second movie, for instance, didn't do half of what New Year New Year did. A third. Oh. But my third movie's going crazy. So you never know. You just yeah, never, know. Yeah, you yeah. never know. You never know. Um, is New Year New Year still bringing in? It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. And it's two years now it's been out. It's still going. It's making just as much as money, just as much money as a movie that came out like a year before. I mean, a year after it, which is significantly newer. 
Got you. That's wild. People love it. People are still talking about it. People nah. are like, hey, I just saw it. Like, but when, uh, I just ran on the actors the other day. Like, people still noticing me. I'm like, that's dope. No, nah, yeah, so how did that make time. you feel? I think that's dope. Think like that's as really a filmmaker, cool. especially for your 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 first one, like how? No, I will tell you, that's when I knew. As a writer, I might have something. Is when the comments in the YouTube started going crazy. Like when you, because I'm a TV watcher and I'm a movie watcher, mm-hmm. and I know if I'm debating with somebody, I like that show. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, yeah, I don't think it's you know what I'm saying? Like people yeah. in the comments, like, oh my god, this is crazy. What did it? I'm like, what? Like people, are, <laughs> I'm like, this is shit just came out of my head. Like this is, I just mm-hmm. made this no, up. I think, I think. Mm-hmm. It was crazy to see people like debating about some shit you just made up. That's it's just amazing. Got you, no. So I, I, don't, I, I understand the people that are like, oh my god, y'all give us some time. I love when people ask me when it's coming. Out. I'm like, it's coming. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> like ask me, cause I'm happy you tuned in. Oh, like when the next movie is coming? Yeah, or when you know, like what do y'all have next? You know, like oh. other you know famous people be like, okay, y'all be coming. Like no, keep asking me. Like oh, yeah, hey, I, I want you to be shit. excited. Yeah, yeah, I want you to be excited. <laughs> For sure. Ask me some more. Um, so the next one you did was uh, Aftermath, right? Aftermath, mm-hmm. yes, yes. Okay, so how did that movie come about? Um, that was actually already like in production once New Year's New Us dropped. I was just going to make it. I was like, well, I make movies now. Forget it. We're just going to make whole movies. Because I feel like if we can make money from movies, why am I shooting shorts and shit? It doesn't make no sense. So, <laughs> I got to get paid. Mm-hmm. So There you go. We did that. I was watching Reservoir Dogs one night, and I was like, man. Nice. I was like, if black dudes robbed a bank, this mm. conversation would be completely different. <laughs> I was like, I was like yeah, I'm going to make yeah. it. And then I just researched randomly, like, armored truck robberies and bank robberies. The majority of them are done by black dudes. And we never see any movies about this. It's really mm. odd. If you look it up, major, like, truck heists and bank robberies, it's always, like, some black dudes in New York or L.A. Like, it's a, it's a thing. So I was like, I want to make a heist movie. We don't, we don't do black heist movies like that. So but I didn't was, have no budget though, so it was a lot of flashbacks. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna come back. <laughs> we gonna make a bigger one. <laughs> but this is this is before you had the money from New Year's. Yeah, New this US. is before New Year's. Oh, okay. yes. So I was already working on. So this. after you made New Year New Year's, mm-hmm. you were just like, well, like you just you said, okay, I'm I'm just gonna make. Move, but you didn't know that you were gonna make any money from New Year's. No, I, well, actually, uh, Maverick came in. Maverick was scanning my Instagram. And was like, "Hey, what's this aftermath thing?" Because I was doing an Indiegogo to oh. crowdfund it, and they came in and was like, "We'll pay for half of it." So they basically just covered like me having some gear and stuff, and um, everybody That's on the crew crazy. worked for free. All the actors worked for free. None of us made any money, <laughs> and we did that movie, and it was great. And I had a big old crew. This is the biggest crew I ever had, and they all worked for free. Were you were you able to profit off of that one? It's making a little money. It's not. It's not doing near as much. Not near as new as, but it's made about Are you four or five red, times. I guess. Budget. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's a win. Everything's coming out. That's what I mean. I, I do cheap ass movies, so that's the thing. It's <laughs> like I'm gonna get out of the red. <laughs> I'm not gonna even get. I'm not gonna go to numbers where I can't get out of the red. Like I not for TV. <laughs> what What do you find in the sweet spot, like to for budget wise? Budget wise, well, at the beginning. Five thousand and under. Mm-hmm. Now where I'm at, I'm in like the twenty to fifty, but that's because I'm working with other people and stuff, and people are booking me for other stuff. Are so, people are actors getting paid at that twenty to fifty? Yeah, yeah, low, but they're getting paid. They're getting some, yeah. which makes a big difference. I'm that's sure a, and that's right. the only thing. It's like if I'm gonna ask you to commit your days for two weeks straight and yeah. all this, I gotta give you some. True that. True like, that. Even yeah. the extras, I'd be like, I have to give them. Some even if it's 75 bucks, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or your gas or something. Like, I have to That's get That's enough to get somebody something. to come out. That's what I mean. And it's like, yeah. there's so many hungry actor here, actors here. Yeah. People who are willing to work. It's like, I ain't got it right now, but I'm going to hire you again. Like, when I get it, I'm hiring. All my actors know when we get there, I'm hiring your ass again. Like, you're coming back. So, after Aftermath was clout? Was, well... In between, after I how we had some that didn't haven't come out yet. So there's one that's dropping next month called Plugged. That was right before Cloud. We shot that one in Houston. Um, and then Cloud, you know, it's like different stories. So yeah. we shot one. We had a couple months. We shot another one. We had a couple months. Shot oh. So all throughout 2021, we were shooting. So how did oh, nice. that come out before Plug? <clears throat> um, Plug is someone else produced it. So I w- I didn't I wasn't responsible for the distribution. I'm just oh, the writer, gotcha, director, gotcha. producer. Yeah. So. 
they took it to, it's still coming out on Mavericks. So I don't know what the hell took a year, but um, it's, <laughs> it's, but it's coming out. It's super hood, but um, yeah, we tried that one and we tried another one in Miami called Rise. It's not out yet either, um, but it should be coming this year too. So I'm gonna have a few joints dropping this year. Good, good number. <laughs> yeah, Interesting. what what is that number? Um, let's see. One, two, three, six. So from from now <laughs> through February, I have a movie dropping every two months on Tubi, <laughs> and I'm about to go on production on two more. One is a Christmas one, so it'll be out, and then there's a top of the year one. So between now and February, about six, along with my three. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hey, are bestie, how you doing? <laughs> hey, what's up, no, Y'all, bro, so, Oh yeah, and I got blood and money on Halloween. Yeah, ooh, we go New Year do us on December first. We going crazy. <laughs> do you feel like you're doing too much? Do you feel like, man, I'm stressed? That is a lot. Or it's like, I what up? I don't be feeling like stressed though. I would do this for free, so Dang. it's just. It's like I'm getting paid. You enjoy it, right? It's yeah, like happen. I don't go to work. Like it's not work. You know what I'm saying? I'm and I, my crew, and I hire a lot of the same cast and stuff. We're friends. Like that's that's my tribe. Like so, we don't say this is like kicking it with my homeboys. Like we just doing with all of us. Nah, it should be. I mean, that's the, yeah. that's the so goal. it doesn't feel like work. Now you know when it gets into things having deadlines and stuff like that. Like Where people getting sued. People getting sued, the bullshit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that's all right. These are lessons we must learn. Yes, for sure. As we travel through this, we navigate mm-hmm. this shit. But um, yeah, I don't. I don't. Um, I've been overwhelmed, but I won't. I won't call it stress. Like I like it. Like I like the fact that people want what I have to offer, and that people want to be a part of what I'm doing. That makes me feel great. I, I, I wish I could shoot a movie every day. Good. <laughs> if I can find an editor, I would. I, <laughs> you edit your own stuff too. I edit, <laughs> direct, write, produce. You shoot it too, right? And shoot because you shot the first one, right? Did you mm-hmm. shoot um, aftermath as well? Yeah, I shoot. On, there's another movie that I have out that I haven't done. Oh really? Yeah. <clears throat> this will be this next one I'm about to do. Will probably be the first time I'm off camera. Why is that? Do you not trust anyone else, or you just wanted it? No. What is dude name? Shit. I've a- been. Tripping, man. What is his name? What dude? Jeez, your DP. Jamal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jamal Scott. Yes, Damn. Mm, Jamal you know Scott, <laughs> who has been with me since Aftermath. He's yes, super dope and amazing. We've had him on the show. Oh, yeah, Jamal's awesome. He just did a short. It's really good. Yes. Yeah, and I do. Costs. He DPs things. I do camera for him. Hey, I you really got like a little... Camera. We're trying, man. We are. Shout out to Gerard at Focus Films. Gafford, DP. Fire. Shout out to my sound man, Mo Nunley. He comes all the way from Memphis just to do our stuff. Goodness. Yeah. My, and my scripty, Ayana Sean. That's my. That's us, though. We, us five. Hey, you got scripties on set? I got to have a scripty. I'll be high. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I feel you. All right. Okay. So how did how has your because I saw you went down for Mavericks like twenty five, right? I did. They had me speak there. That's all good. Right. Movie. How has that relationship like? Have all your films been through Maverick? Yeah, so far all the three that are out are through Maverick, um, and the, all but I think one of the ones that are about to drop, even the ones I didn't do or go or that I didn't produce are going to Maverick. Um, but no, the people at Maverick are great. They love me. I love them. Um, How has that relationship developed? Like, was it just from New Year, New Us? Well, that was where it started. And um, they just dig my stuff, man. They, um, you know, the president of the company, he's been making black movies for 30 years. You mm-hmm. know? So even though he's a white dude, he knows what people like. And he's like, Nina, you're special. You're this, you're that, you're this. He tells me all this stuff. So... And they actually have me in talks. I pitched something um, to BET through them. I pitched something to Tubi directly through them. So um, how'd that go? Um, amazing. We're talking about outrageous budgets <laughs> that I've never even <laughs> dreamed of. So <laughs> we're still in the talks right now, though. But um, yeah, so they they've definitely put me in. But a so after New Year, I suppose it like they 
kept contacting you or you were contacting them? Um, well, like, like I said, I was they, when we did Aftermath, they saw it on my Instagram, so they're like, hey, what's this? Mm-hmm. So then I'd already, I'd already been developing clout as a thing, so I took it to them, like, hey, I have a script. I don't know if y'all do this, but I have this script, blah, 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 blah. They're like, yeah, we'll do it. Sounds oh, amazing. you, you asked them? Yeah, I, like, oh, I submitted okay. a script to them. Gotcha. Yeah, it was like, do y'all think y'all, they're like, how much you need? And I told them, and they're like, okay, let's put some influencers in there. I'm like, all right, I don't know how to contact influencers. So they casted influencers, put them in the movie. Goodness. Yeah, and it went crazy. I had a guy make the Blackface app. It was amazing. They paid, Maverick paid for that. And um, they played for Jack Yo, rest in peace, sweet, sweet girl. They paid for her to come out, Teresa Topnosh, Karan Riley, great people. So they were like, yeah, let's step it up, Nina. Let's put some faces in there. Like, <laughs> let's okay. step it up. <laughs> yeah, but. So is that what it is now? Or are you just, okay, hey, I have another one. Can we do this? Um. Well, luckily now I can talk to some other people too. But yeah, usually if I have a good, like, hood to be thing, I'm like, Hey Maverick, <laughs> take this. Check this out, and they're like, "Nina, just give us whatever. We don't care. We're gonna make it." Like they love me. They're like, "You had us at I got a movie." I'm like, "Okay." Like they love that is them wild. Yeah, that sounds good. That's a, that's a blessing for us. <laughs> yeah, we talked about making some bigger movies together and things like that. So it's a definitely a burgeoning relationship that I definitely appreciate. Man, so and putting people in out of the fucking. 30 you got coming <laughs> this year. Uh, there are people do way more than me. Shout out to Janad Harper in Houston. This man do a movie every month. Like, he's amazing. So, he killing it. Goodness. He made this little gracious. TV group on Facebook. All his movies go crazy. So. What is, wait, what's his name? Janard Harper. <laughs> 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 no, I think he just DPs so well, but just, he's always working. Like. Um, so, what's, what's your... <laughs> What's your perspective on people's perspective on Tubi? Mm. Um, people be hating, but um, <laughs> who who be hating? The general public and definitely other filmmakers, like That's bougie filmmakers, at. bougie filmmakers be hating, but y'all be broke. Hey, so why Say you hate broke? You know what I'm saying, like broke. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, screw traditional filmmakers. Go on, just... No, no, we oh, need we need no. all his of them. hero. <laughs> she is his my hero. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not that's that's not a slight. We all of yeah, the art is needed. Yeah, yeah. All of this <laughs> art is needed, but you gotta get some no, money. It ain't. You gotta get some money. It's just I feel like I look at this like the rap game. I feel like you got your like you know like real real like good rappers be like waiting on people to put them on, but meanwhile like mediocre rappers be going crazy mm-hmm. because they got hustle. You have to you got to get some money. It's the only way you can make the, the movies hustle. you want to make, bro. It's the only way. And it's the only way people gonna see you. I ain't got ten years. I'm forty. I ain't got time. Dang. I'm forty. I'm forty. <laughs> <laughs> I look good. Did they get, hey, come on now. <laughs> I look good before. Yeah, you know, I didn't know. I did. It, it was. I'm looking on your Instagram, and that's what I kind of started to carbon date you. And I'm like, wait a minute now. <laughs> like she be saying, oh uh-huh, shit, she, from the 90s. Oh, yeah. that flip phone, that flip camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute, she not, she not that. Oh, is she? No, this is my third career change. I've been from. I used to be a news anchor on the radio. Then I was a DJ on the radio, and then I got into film. This is my third career change. I feel you on that. Goodness. And well, let's take me. it back let's to the back. broke niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hear broke people. Screw them, right? <laughs> but it's not, but I get, get your though. money up. We <laughs> 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 don't care about your lighting, right? <laughs> the angles and all that. <laughs> no, but that's important though. But like, if you watch New Year New Us, this is the thing though. If you watch New Year New Us, there are very minimal amounts of scenes in the nighttime because I had no budget for light. You know, all jokes are like I've seen, obviously. I be purposely you shooting came, to my buddy. You, you came to me. Your name came to me over the movie. And I saw that opening. Not the opening one. But the the scene after that thing where they're in the parking lot. Oh, yeah, stuff, yeah. It looked good. They're sitting in front. They, I went right, to right. Little Five Points, find that cleaners that never turn their lights off. I was like, pull it right here. <laughs> but even stuff <laughs> because, like that, though. Like, but you know what, though? I will say this. Having trained 
in college to use a camera and to mm-hmm. use lighting, I will say that is a head, like a step up that I have on people who are coming out of nowhere with no training. Yeah. So if you don't know about lights and stuff, I just knew lights. You know what I'm saying? Like I know yeah. you gotta have lights. Like you won't ever watch one of my shit and it be dark ever. Like that's just yeah, that's, I, I hate that you. shit. It's whack. Like, but you. but you can be artsy too. You can get you can have a seven D make your shit in four three and make it a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can yeah, do. It. Like you, you just gotta get creative, bro. You ain't gonna make no money, but yeah, you could. Ain't that right? If you make good stuff. People gotta watch. Can they be shit. good though? In People black and white in four shit. three. I mean, yeah, but they ain't though. So it's... what's the hate you've been getting? Like, what what have you been? Receiving I don't personally hate? get any hate. Okay, this is like whole Facebook groups about Tubi movies and stuff. And right, that's TikTok. what I mean. Like now, yeah. luckily, I haven't been TikTok because I try not to like do fake gunshots and stuff. And like fake punches. I've seen some <laughs> I try things. To, I try. To, I feel like we're upper echelon Tubi. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, yeah. There are but, lots of Tubi too, you know. So, yeah. there are, there's like iPhone niggas and there's like <laughs> there's Red like, Cam and Ari niggas and then there's in between Sony Black Magic. Like we're in there. Um but no, I just you know, when we when I talk to my peers, a lot of, you know, the more like artsy filmmakers and stuff, they be hating, but I'm like, if your shit's good, people gonna watch it. It doesn't matter where it is. How do they be hating? Well, I just see it like, like I mean Tubi is like you know what I'm saying? Like I it's like the, sound the, like we sound click niggas. The, this t- Like, don't be acting like we can't be on sound click. Y'all gotta be on world star. The stigma like of Tubi is definitely ugh, a Tubi movie. And the thing is, there's so many terrible ones. You have to like get to good ones. So it's like, but if you see a good one, you're like, oh, okay, shit. <laughs> you know That's like, yeah. you gotta find yeah. the good ones. So you you don't feel like that stigma has been put on you? Like you don't feel like you're in that. That stereotype. I welcome it because, like, mm. people have asked me, like, why you call your shit hood movies? Because it's hood. It's for people in the hood about the hood or hood shit. Like, I don't care. Hood movies are dope. We all grew up on them. Now we acting like we're too bougie for them. Like, what are we talking about? What is Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood, Poetic Justice? What are those called? I don't think it's the hood that's fucking with people. I think it's the quality. There aren't hood movies anywhere else. Yeah, it's they're, they're not being made anymore anywhere except no, I, on Tubi. I agree. So this is where you got to come get it. And it, back in the day, we had some horrible movies. Well, did we not all watch I'm About It? I never seen it. Well, you're probably young, but I it's a terrible youngster. movie, and we all watched it in the '90s. Yeah. So it is what it is. Like black people, we be we know when we been bougie. Like we be doing low quality shit our whole lives. Like the I mean, whole black exploitation and everything. This is all it is. It's the black whole exploitation era. It's a new era. Man. The whole perspective on it is that, but at the same time, it's so popular because of what you just said. Like it's <laughs> you can say, oh, two movies are bad, but yeah. you still watching them. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is this is what other people don't understand, especially the bougie filmmaker. Mm. The majority of people are poor. Mm. Which means they don't have Netflix. They don't have cable. Tubi is free. So the people who don't have cable, don't have nothing, can watch Tubi. Mm-hmm. If you ain't got nothing else, you're going to have a phone and a TV with a Roku probably and some internet. And even if you ain't got the internet, you watch on your phone. So no matter what, it's like Three Stooges or, you know what I'm saying? All the shit you used to watch at night as a kid because what nothing else on TV. That's what Tubi is. So y'all can like ignore that demographic if you want, but they watching and you're getting paid. So you understand the platform. So you understand the audience. I know who my demographic is and that's oh. who I write to. I think maybe the bougie people don't. Maybe they're more concerned about themselves and their. It's a very self right. I don't stuff, write movies you know? for me. I write, write movies for the that are that are for the audience and that I don't see subject matter that I don't see being attacked. That's what I do. And these people like that. And I'm hood. Like I'm from Memphis. <laughs> It's just our world. Like I was shooting music videos. You know what that means? I was hanging around rappers and guns and drugs. Like that's that's the world I come from. So making movies about it is. So are easy. you? Mm. How to formulate this question? Are are you? Is this okay for you? Like is this like you're content with 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 Tubi? No, I mean we're. I'm always gonna try to progress. Like lateral moves, but. I'll always be in this space, though. I don't think there'll ever be a time where I won't make like two B level movies. I don't care how big I get. But you, I think I'll always come back. But you are, because I don't even like to say like, like being big and stuff because, like, to be For on to be, it's still, it's still, you know what I'm saying? That, but that's <laughs> the, the, the bougie yeah. of it. Yeah, like that's what um, 
that's what people are looking at. People, people are looking at Tubi as like a lower level platform, and it's not. You know, you're not in theaters, you're not on Netflix, and all of that crap. You gotta watch the trends, though. If you look at the trends with something as small as like movie posters. Tubi had to kind of look to their movie posters. It just gave you low budget. You know what I'm saying? It gave you like Master P, mm-hmm. No Limit. Mm-hmm. Go look at BET's movie posters now. They're very much more Tubi looking. Very much more like low budget. Why everybody's face is? on the cut. Because Tubi's winning. Mm, Tubi's every winning. company, Swirl Films, Man Rap, every film company is trying to get a deal with Tubi now. They were first, they didn't care. They were going to BT. No, Tubi's making so much money. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get in with Tubi. Were you reached out to by other uh, filmmakers? Like when you started to do good on Tubi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several. <laughs> for for what? Some just like asking me about how it works. Some wanted me to come to, you know, meetings and <laughs> stuff like that. Just like asking me like, what did you do to get here? What did you Googled it? Like So you told them to go screw yourself, figure it out, right? Like I did, sucker. Is that basically, I'm trying not to guess, but that's what you said. No, I mean, I would, it depends on who it was. Like if it's somebody that I work with or something, I'm going to tell them, you know. But But most of them. Other people, I'd be like, I don't know, it's crazy. You got to like. Figure it out. (laughs) I got the Google. Well, I might not work for you, but you no, know, because I'm, <laughs> I'm just you know, okay. I don't. I'm not one of those people who want to hoard knowledge either, because there's enough money out here for everybody. You sure? It's enough money. It's plenty. It's trust me. The, the, the bags they throw at me is plenty money out here, and it's like you can be Barry Jenkins, but look how many movies Barry Jenkins dropped. He's an amazing director, though. Oh. He got two you movies. Know who Barry is? Jenkins. Moonlight. If Bill Street, Street could talk. talk, two movies, Moonlight, Oscar award winning. I remember that I haven't seen them. director. Haven't of, seen no, it. I haven't seen it, but no, I know who he is. That name sounds so familiar. Weird. I remember being like, "That's a crappy name," but okay, now it's ringing a bell, baby. Shout out, to Barry but Jenkins, they're just though. big, big, beautiful movies. You know what I'm saying? And they doing you know, too much. They're, they're though, artsy right? and you know great, but it's a whole realm down there where you can just be getting paid. I tell people that. It's like, and it doesn't have to. You don't have to make hood movies. There's plenty of like deep movies on there. You just there is. Are they making mon- money though? But, but <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even. Why well, he laughing really hard at that one? And I was just I was, no. I, I, this I was is about the thing. To give myself I was, a shout out. In <laughs> and is it making money though? It's like never mind. Let me stop. <laughs> no, but I mean now Tubi does have a demographic. It does. I will give you that. It does have a demographic certain demographic for mm-hmm. what wins on there, mm-hmm. and it is easy for your shit to get buried under <laughs> the multitudes of. It is, and it's only getting bigger. Uh, as far and as it's like definitely how um, much movies saturated. are are dropping. That's for sure. So it's like That's being sure. able to stick out is what Much I have um, seen from like other filmmakers, like. Whether it be just like two years ago, there's because it's so many more options, mm-hmm. people are making less. Have you seen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this has been a significant drop in like the payout. Um, mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I think when, especially when like, let's see, I got on in 2021. When I got on in 2021, there was no Peacock, there mm-hmm. was no Paramount Plus, mm-hmm. there was no Disney Plus. All these apps are brand new and they're really cutting into what Tubi had going yes, on. They are. So, um, and there's more There's coming. been, dev- but this is the thing. Still, what we're making is significantly more than what the budgets are. Still, so it's like yeah, even with a massive uh, true, cut, true, true, it's true. like if you still, it's like where else were you gonna put it? I, yeah, no, I agree. you're gonna be sitting there for five years going to film festivals trying to get somebody or something. Yeah, it's like I just, rather just put it out. Yeah, I'm now, my bigger ideas, I have bigger scripts, you know, and I wait until. I get into those spaces to pitch those, but I got would a you whole ever bunch of take your <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm putting them out like Master P. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yes, you are. <laughs> so wait till I get them to where I can put the coming soon on the other movie. It's going crazy. <laughs> would you ever, <laughs> or have you thought about taking your Tubi money and putting it towards a a huge project? No, I'm gonna have somebody else pay for it. There you go. I'm going to keep my money. Man. No, because I'm learning now that that's how this goes. Yes, that as is I, how you As I have these meetings with these money. big guys, I'm like, these niggas don't have no money. <laughs> They're looking around waiting for somebody else to pay for it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. 
because I'm I'm definitely talk to people who are interested in much bigger scripts and stuff for me. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let these two be movies come out so that I have a good filmography though before mm. I pitch it, so they can be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You can be looking at me yeah, like at I'm throwing these pennies because no, no, nigga, I got eleven features. What's up? <laughs> This year. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> They've been shot over the years. <laughs> Goodness. Hey, man. That was Nina Stacks. Hey. You know? Yeah, this is Nina Stacks. Uh, thanks wow. for having me on. Dope. Absolutely, man. Hey, thanks for coming on and <laughs> teaching the people. <laughs> Goodness. Hey, get out there and get it. Get out there and get it. Definitely. Stop I mean, I, I give you the credit. That's why I say your name comes up because you changed my perspective on, okay. on Tubi. As far as like what can and be done And this is the thing about there. Tubi if you're a filmmaker. You can be the most amazing filmmaker in the world. If nobody ever sees your shit, it doesn't matter. So the or fact that I no put these... It. When I can tell you the, the, the... I can't say the company now, but it's a very well-known company that's going to mm. produce my next movie. The president of this company DM me and is like, I've been studying clout for weeks. I have to know how much you paid for this movie. I have to, do the, you know what I'm saying? But if that wasn't there, I would have never got that call. Mm -hmm. The movie has to be there. Someone has to see the work. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like, you can't be the best rapper with no album. Here's a question. <laughs> do you True. put any money into marketing? Yeah, for um, internet stuff. I did a lot of internet stuff. Um, for Aftermath, I did some billboards. That was super dope. People were tagging them. And mm. I did some in Memphis and down here. For Where'd Cloud, you do the billboard? If I knew we could it's make really a return, cheap. yeah. It's really I paid like seventy five hundred maybe. For it's only like seventy five hundred. For no. huh? No. I did three in Atlanta, three in Memphis. <laughs> no. And it was during during and I, and this is the thing. After the billboard, I saw the jump in my money though. Mm, okay, yeah. Because but I had one in Memphis <laughs> at the FedEx Forum right when the Grizzlies went to the playoffs though. Mm. And like you come outside and see the aftermath, and it was like, what the fuck is this? What is you know the. So, it just be hitting sometimes. Real quick, cause I want to skip over this. You paid seventy five hundred for each one. No, 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 for all of them. Oh, okay. You get a package. You get it with the company. Yeah. You can say, hey, I want this many. And for how long? This many. They were supposed to be for thirty days, but nobody bought the billboard after me, so they stayed they there just for stayed months. There, yeah, that's what. It was amazing. Lot. That does <laughs> is what happened. Yeah, if nobody else buys it, they're, they're not going to go down. take it down. Yeah, they're yeah. going to just leave it up there. It costs it money for to send somebody up to take it down. <laughs> yeah, I went on like ponds. Everybody's like, "Yo, that's your shit." I'm like, "Yeah." The actors like going around, people are seeing them. They're in Linux. People like running up to them. It's crazy. Um, internet wise, what has what have you done for marketing? Well, you know, I'll do the sponsored ads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, we, I just try to do some TikTok and things like that. Is it that. For, for every movie you've done? Yeah, every movie I definitely do a Instagram page, promote clips of it. I literally go watch what other movies and shows do. I go see what Snowfall does on their page. I go see what True to the Game or you know, whatever movie or thing that's popping. I, go, I went and studied everybody's marketing, like how they drop things. 90 days before, 60 days before. Like, I wouldn't study all these things. BMF, everything I can study about, like, how to drop stuff. It, that should be working. <laughs> that should be working. Because I can tell, like, I can do a sponsored ad a couple times. I'll see the difference in my residuals the next time. That's another thing that we don't be doing, pro promotion. <laughs> people no, be posting their movie one time. And people know how to. You know, what kind of promotion promote. you see works best? <clears throat> I mean, the internet's probably your best bet. The YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that. But I think the amount of content you have, mm -hmm. like, I don't think you can keep posting the same trailer 30 times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got a trailer for each character in the movie. That's what I'm I got a trailer like about of... the funny things in the movie. I got a dramatic trailer. Like, I be mm -hmm. having content. <laughs> every every um, actor's got an interview chopped up with their scenes and, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I just feel like it make you look like you serious. I think these people take it more seriously. <clears throat> oh, shit. Man. Damn. Me and the stacks. Marcel's hero on the podcast, man. She is. My goodness. Uh, no, I appreciate it, man. I'm Come just on now. We appreciate you. <laughs> We appreciate Where you. Where can they follow you at, Nina? Yeah, Nina Stacks everywhere. S T A K Z, not the C, because I think that's the only fans, ladies. So mm. Nina, oh. N I N A, S T A K Z. Everywhere, Onyx Theory Arts is my company. You can find us at onyxtheoryarts.com. Onyx what Theory movies Arts is on, on Tubi? Tall them out. Right now, make sure you check out Clout. 
mm. which is going crazy. And unfortunately, it's back at the top of Tubi because of the Dear Miss Jackie O. R.I.P. You're sweet. You will be missed. Um, so check out Cloud. Check out The Aftermath and New Year, New Us. They are all available right now. Stay tuned for Plugged, Blood and Money, New Year, New Us 2, and 3, the movie, all coming out in the next six to seven months on Tubi. You'll definitely be seeing me post. <laughs> and we got more after that. We got more coming to it. Top of next year. We Ran out of fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing games out. Count toes over here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming next? Um, so right now I'm writing a Christmas movie. And I'm in pre-production on a little movie called Southside Hero. That is kind of a taken in the hood. Black dad kidnapped a little girl. I'm digging and, it. Um, I feel like we don't make enough black dad movies. So. I feel like we don't. We don't. We act like black dads ain't shit. So, um, and I grew up with a black dad in my house, I so I appreciate black men. Come on, that's now. why a lot of my movies are centered around black men. Come on, Natty. Um, but yeah, so we're working on Southside Hero and the Twelve Bays of Christmas. <laughs> that, is that gonna be this Christmas or next? It's gonna be this Christmas. We moving fast. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, I got a little energy behind this one. Another company is coming in, taking the lead. Good, yeah. Well, whoop, well, there it is, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed well, this. Hopefully, you learned something, you broke motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, I go by yeah. the name of Miles over there. Is. Don't do that. Marcel Neil Stacks number one fan Williams. Come on, Come now. on now. We'll see y'all next time in the lab. This is chemistry. <laughs> you broke niggas. Stupid ah. artists. Hey. Come on.